Well, it's daylight savings time, and we woke up earlier than what we should have, and we slept in the truck, and we drove to the spot, and we sat in the truck, and now it's time to hunt. We've been sitting here for, I don't know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes maybe, and there's been nobody driving down this road. That's good, because earlier in the week, there was just people coming down this like crazy. It's telling us the pressure's really dropping off, but yesterday, just down the road here, I saw those two turkeys. And hopefully gonna hear something. It's really calm this morning. Weather feels good, it's dry. Yeah, just pretty much gonna walk down the road. Ted's gonna go one way, I'm gonna go the other, and then hopefully we hear something and can make a move on it. They're definitely around here. It's just a matter of hearing one or not. Maybe today's our lucky day. We got Jacob set up back in his tent at Camp Air. He's just gonna listen from there. I just think Jake likes that because he doesn't have to get up. That's, uh, I think that's it. Let's hunt. Like, not, I don't think he's that far. But it's just like. <sighs> but he's, I mean, it's 100% a turkey cop. Took forever. I was like, I don't even know that we're gonna hear. On this morning, I was hearing them from right here. We can just stop there. I still think we need to circle around him and not try to go at him from this direction. Do you know where the base plate is for this? Not off the top of my head. It was on that camera last I heard. That's all. hammering this morning. Phone's dead. Not ideal. This one again. Those guys are spread out, but I don't have any way to get a hold of them. I gotta go figure out how to charge my phone somehow. The truck was locked. Ted needed stuff, so we were running a little later than what we should have been to get a jump on this thing. I ran back, we drove up here, can't hear the thing anymore. Jake calls in the midst of it all and says that there's a turkey cow going over by camp a lot. So we're gonna go back over there and see if we can make a move on that thing. Probably not the right decision. Probably just weren't ready to go this morning, is what I think has happened. I feel like maybe, just maybe, it's starting to become a little bit more like tur turkey hunting again. We've been hunting for a lot of days and we finally heard gobbles this morning. But to make a long story short, we just did everything wrong. I got up late this morning, or early this morning, an hour early this morning because I didn't realize daylight savings time was on. So like messed everybody's sleep schedule up. Then 
we got to the spot, we separated. And when we separated, we didn't leave Jake a gun. He hears a bird goblin. We hear a bird goblin. Ted and I are messing around trying to get the end of the truck and the truck's not locked and I gotta run back to the truck. And by the time it's all said and done, we're sitting there at eight o'clock with no gobbling turkeys around us and frustration. So we decided to come back here, just regroup, organize everything, eat something, get some work done and just like turn it around from here. Tighten back up. When you're on a long trip like this, if you just keep going downhill from this, it ain't gonna be fun. So we just cooking some pancakes that I've been saving for a special occasion and I didn't think it was gonna be that we just had a horrible morning, but hey, here we are making the most of it. We're gonna be hunting again soon though. <laughs> it's a tough hunt, Dad. I stopped for a little break here. It's pretty dang warm, so I just grabbed a little shade. And now I'm just, I called one time, I'm just listening for a little bit. Not very far from the road, but this habitat caught my eye yesterday, and that's why I was looking into it when I spotted those toms running away. Whatever this plant is, kind of grows in what I think is an old field or an old pasture or something out here. The ground's a little bit higher, and typically, there's less uh, grass, there's less tall grass at least. Seems like a good place for turkeys to come hang out, especially as the shadows start to hit different parts of these fields. So I'm gonna try to get close to where we heard a bird this morning. And that way, if he comes back and roosts in that same spot, I got a good chance at him. The wind picks up and then it dies way down. I'm trying to do my moving when it picks up and then I stop and listen for turkeys moving drumming, gobbling. On a day like today, if you were doing it right, you may hit a calm spell, stop, and hear drumming. Definitely a good tactic to be doing when you got winds that are going up and then stopping. You can hear that drumming and you can move and cover your noise when, when the wind's up. I'm just trying to really slow down here and not overthink it. Just easing in, listening a lot. I just got in here to my setup spot. Before I sit down, I want to show you what it looks like a little bit. Right here is a point. The timber comes out here. The grass is really low, but it kind of necks down right here. I think if the turkeys are transitioning down through here, they're going to work right around this point where it necks down. Seems like there's a lot of this stuff, which is what I've been looking for on the way in. It's what I saw those turkeys in yesterday. I probably saw those turkeys yesterday half mile that way. Then this morning, there's a turkey goblin back this way. So I'm just gonna kind of get in this area, listen as much as I can. I'm just gonna set up back in this hole right there. I'm basically just gonna get in there and kind of push some stuff around. That way I can get some shooting lanes and filming lanes through there. And just gang, hang out and listen. Should be fun. So far in my setup, I haven't heard anything. You know, when you're sitting down low like this, you can't really hear a whole lot. It just makes it loud. Stuff's moving around me pretty much any time the wind blows. As soon as the sun sets, I'm gonna get up and move out here and to see if I can hear anything fly up, maybe gobble. I know turkeys probably are roosted right around here. It just looks pretty perfect. So I'm not gonna walk out in the middle of everything necessarily, but up and on the edge. I'll let you guys know if anything else happens, but 
soon as it gets dark. I'm just walking back to camp. I got a long walk, so we'll see you when we get back to camp. Good luck. Look at it up out there. I'm trying not to put my gators on right now. I just dropped Ted off. He heard a turkey last night fly up, at least what he thinks was a turkey, he's not positive, but you know, there's a lot of other birds in this area, but Jake has heard a turkey right in that area the last couple days, so there's probably a good chance it was a turkey. He's going in there alone, sneaking in, and uh, we're gonna go down the road here a little bit to the area that I hunted yesterday. But yesterday we did hear multiple turkeys gobble. We're gonna just both be in that zone. So the good news is, is they do exist. I think that the weather should be pretty good, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how much we should use headlamps. Um, did you use it last night on the way out? No, I was out like right at gray light. So it wasn't dark till I was back up here. I just feel like if you're walking the same path you were spooked at last night. Yeah, that's true. I just I just think that the turkeys up in the trees can yeah. see so far. I don't know. Let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, nothing. You can't see. I'm not just like, hey, oh. just bend down. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it down here like this. Yeah. Plastic we use it. Yeah. A lot of times we use our cell phone or just right. flashlight way down like that. During turkey season, it's different than during deer season. During deer season, we use our headlamps all the time. Turkey season, ideally we don't. I mean, if we were walking in on like a logging road or something, that's real easy. I definitely wouldn't be using it, but just to not run into a tree, it's so dark out here, you kind of have to. But I don't like using one because turkeys up in the trees can see a long way, way farther than we can see, so we're just running these lights down low. I'm putting my fingers over it like this to keep it as small as possible. Jake's running his on red, and mine doesn't have that option, but just trying to keep it dim, and then as soon as it starts getting daylight, just shut them off, but that's what we're doing in this situation because it is a dork out here. Just 
the roost because if we do that then we can't yeah, not anymore. Looks like no one in this opening, I'm sure he's heard that's in here before.
him. Yep. This is what we've been looking for. That was a turkey hunt there. Oh, dude, that was. We got a little crawling, we got a little crawling, we got a little strutting, drumming, spitting. Got a little uh, and anxiety in the morning, not hearing anything. You know, I actually just was like, I got to a point right there, I'm like, hey, every time it works out if you stay calm, yeah. you don't move too fast. And like, well, it's so damp too, you could just crawl along, <laughs> super quiet. Right along that deer trail. I was gonna burn and see if another one come in, uh -huh. but I heard something go through there, and I was like, I better, I better not like let yeah. him get over there. Yeah. We were right on the cusp of the shadow. Yep, I might and have been in the sun a little bit. That's why I crawled right up by you. I still... think you're, you were just a dark circle, probably off yeah. that. Actually, we'll run over there and look at that. But dude, here's something. Here's something. This is one of these oaks, and this is what. I feel like you see on TV. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Well, they're feeding under them. That's what this right. is where they spent, the, ever, like, ever since I flew down, they were in this little. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was roosted somewhere, had to have been right in here. Probably scratching or something over here. I was going to him. Dude, that was so intense. <laughs> so, like, yeah, this big, big oak tree, and then there's just so much open ground underneath yeah. of it. So they can strut and stuff. Yeah, there's, I don't know, bear turns. Pretty, pretty good run for the Osceola. Dark. That's a pretty bird. You know, after yesterday, too, it just makes it all that much sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I know we're going to kill a turkey yet, but. Mm -hmm. What's that? I said, that's my grand slam. <laughs> it technically would be, right? Or is it, does it have to be in a season? It doesn't have to I be in a season. So. They just call that a single season. Yeah. So technically, this would be it. So what does that mean? How much, which ones did y'all get? I shot a Eastern. Shot a Merriam's, a Rio, and that was in Oklahoma. That's the only Rio I've ever shot, and it's the only Osceola I've ever <laughs> shot. Won't be the last. No, I don't think so. The cool thing is down here is just the experience, and like the one thing I want to say, and I, I feel like is, you know, if you coming down here, you gotta have the right attitude that it's not gonna just be turkey killing. If no. you think it's gonna be turkey killing, then you're not gonna have a good time, and you know. We've heard a lot of reports and guys saying, oh, it's it's tough, and, I, and don't get me wrong, it has absolutely been tough, but at the end of the day, it's still turkey hunting, and, and it's it's meant to be tough, you know? Yeah. Turkeys aren't, they don't they don't want to die. They don't want to go <laughs> kiss your gun barrel, so. And they got a lot of things around here that are trying to kill them. Right. It's awesome, man. <laughs> feel pretty lucky. Very happy. And I shot him through that little thing there. Can you see me very well? No, not really. This is where you were, right here. Yeah. That's why he popped his head up, but it was too late. Not, because I was all the way up here. Am I sticking out at all? No. Pretty terrifying, all I can see is your hair. <laughs> That's the goal. You got the wad? Yeah. It's a weird lot. I don't even know. Right now, I don't even know what turkey loads I'm shooting because I got a mixed bag. I think these are from Ben. It's a Winchester, so I'm assuming it was Winchester Super X. And that came out of it. Huh. The thing about this gun is it's just going to shoot pretty much any shell that I put into it out to 40 yards. I've shot a whole bunch of them. And like lately, I've just been running the the 
the bargain deals. Like no. Free from your buddies? Yeah, well, free from our buddies or uh, federal grand slams. And those worked well last year. They're just real cheap. We're by a feed tree here. Yeah. I don't even know what they're eating, though. It's a weird thing. They're just digging right here a little bit. I can see a couple places over there where they just barely, barely pecked the ground. But, like, this is where they were for a long time. You can see the deer got that tree browsed a bunch, but yeah. turkeys aren't doing that. There's so much game around it, though. It's like, oh, they're yeah. for the spot. Oh, yeah. They do go in the woods. <laughs> Questions and answers. It smells kind of like a spice. You should smell that. It's actually kind of weird. Hazelnut. <laughs> yeah, that it's is like, weird. It's, it's is almost like a seasoning. Sure, it's been hard to come by this trip. That's a fresh loaf. <laughs> yeah. Ain't seen much. Been there for a while. Ted and I was saying, these turkeys, do these turkeys shoot in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, it was pretty freaking freaky. <laughs> that was insane, dude. Yeah, he was aggressive with us. That was one of the craziest things I've seen. I was too tight on him. I, I was just like, well, I mean, it's gonna be insane footage. <laughs> you think you're tough, wolf. We didn't even plan it. <laughs> Here it comes. Call team, Jake. <laughs> Rats and Jim. <laughs> Sitting here shooting this bow, and I look up, and there's a deer running down the road. It's pretty funny. Not bad. I mean, not bad for eight yards. Did you call? No. Okay. I started walking. I was on his back. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I didn't. Oh help. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that was sweet. Was he in one of those openings? Yep. Was he? Yep. We went in there. We went in there and like um, got to where I was set up last night, and we just started listening there. And did you get the skeets? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> we stood through that for a while, and we kind of split up a little bit. I mean, he was just 20, 30 yards away from me. And did you hear him from the roost? Uh huh. And Jake heard him. He wasn't roosted, but 200 yards from where I was set up last night, or 300 at most, 250 probably. And we heard him like back behind us. And there's an opening that's interior of that bigger opening that I was hunting in. That's like a little bit more shaded and it just looks a little bit better back in there. He's gobbling, it sounds like he's still in the tree. And then after quite a while, like way later than you typically think, it was like, hey, he's on the ground. And we just kind of used what little opening we could to get through that timber and get into that interior opening. And we set up right on the edge of it called and he was just like wow it's like ooh like he's in like a hundred inside of a hundred and he gobbled to my call one more time but he's in the same spot now it's maybe five minutes later ten minutes later he's not moving so he started crawling along the edge and we got to a point where we called and he gobbled and it was like he's real close like oh he like cut the gobble off short too because we were so close you know how they'll do that like, he didn't do a full on he just went oh we started crawling a little bit more, got up against a bush, and he saw them, and eventually just like kind of wrapped around. There's a whole bunch of them, hens, toms, deer, cool. they were all under one of those big oak trees. <laughs> That's gonna be good. <clears throat> Throw some barbecue on them, and we say, good enough. Man, it, this tastes better than eating another mountain house. Well, we've got the bird on the grill, and that's what we've been hunting for this entire time, is a meal. Mountain houses and chicken. And when Ted cooks chicken, it's gonna be raw, so 
you're taking a risk with that. But with this, we think we got a pretty good chance of doing it right. Not doing anything fancy, just cut it up, threw a little barbecue on it, and we're gonna feast on this. It's gonna be great, but I call this thoughtless chunks because you just cut it up with zero thought and no, nothing to it, just hack it until you get a little bite size and the best or a little lazier than bite size, a little bit bigger, and just throw them in there and call it good. It's what we do out here sometimes, and it's gonna be great. I guarantee it tastes really good for us, but I think that's probably gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was obviously a fun day for us. We're gonna be back at them again soon. We got, I don't know, four or five more mornings, so I'm gonna be hunting more. See you on the next one. <laughs>